When Kenya announced its first confirmed case of uh, COVID-19, uh, two days after the president um, gave a directive that all schools had to be closed, and so on Monday, March 16th, our students had to leave for home. Um, but them leaving on that day for us was one, a challenge, especially because it basically meant that we were not going to be having any more classes. And they'd just been in school for six weeks, so we picked up a momentum and then all of a sudden it stopped. And we started looking into what could we do to ensure that there's some continued learning, um, despite the fact that um, our students come from um, underserved communities and some of the marginalized areas. They're spread across uh, currently 25 different regions of the country, some of them that are really uh, marginalized or in the arid areas. So they don't have access to a computer or a laptop and, or even a smartphone. And even if they do, it's a basic smartphone. So what we decided to do was test out teaching um, via WhatsApp. This uh, we've never done before. We've not seen anyone do this before, so we didn't know even what we were getting ourselves into, but we decided to tie it out. If it works out, it's fine. As much as they don't have access to devices, and which basically is a huge digital divide problem, they do have access to a basic smartphone, and almost all of them were able to get on WhatsApp. created different WhatsApp groups for all the different uh, classes. So we have like, we have 11 WhatsApp groups, 10 for class and one for the general communication. And so we did set down some rules to just ensure that even the students understand how this is going to work. Because in a normal day, WhatsApp for them is for chatting, it's, it's, it's hype, it's, it's where they just talk with each other. But now we are trying to formalize WhatsApp and make it like a class and so we had to put down some rules on how we engage with each other on exactly how you know like even just different ways on how we we communicate for the trainers I've seen some of them go ahead and say if I put this emoji it means stop it means and if I put this it means raise your hand ask a question so we there's some really uh, like order that we have had to bring into WhatsApp that normally would doesn't exist and so the way the class works is that for, because it's a three hour class, the first hour you have the teachers sending in material. So the most interesting bit about this is when the teacher sends material, um, some cannot even open PDFs because of the kind of phones that they have and videos and also connectivity because some who are in places like Masturbate, they, their internet is really, really, really slow. Like they, they don't even struggle to even access that internet. And so we've had to, the trainers have had to rework even in terms of what they send. So most of them, they will do a presentation and then take screenshots of those presentations and share because images are lighter than it is sending a whole PDF, a PPT or a, or a video. And so when, for the first hour, they send the material, um, the students are able to read and then, and then the second one, it's a more interactive session whereby the trainers uh, the students will ask questions from the material, the teacher will try and explain a concept uh, and they do this via chat. Sometimes the trainer, based on how the students are understanding, the trainer sometimes will decide to actually take, do a voice note and then send a voice note and be able to explain a concept, which I've realized is actually magical because then the, the, the students are able to understand better than it is a chatting. And then after that, the students are able some, to do some work based on, let's say, if it's a quiz or a exercise based on the work that they're doing in the next hour, and then submit to the trainer and ask any other question that they'll have. That's how a three hour class looks like. Every single day we are learning, even from just how it works. There's a lot of work we have to do to facilitate the class. We have to always check in and make sure that there's nothing else that could be a barrier to you just being able to join the WhatsApp class. And so there's a lot of, um, you know, exchanges with the, the different, um, with the administration just checking in on the, on, the, on the young women if there's anything that else that we could do to ensure that they're, they're okay even while they're at home. It's just 
it's like making sure they have the same campus experience at home uh, and especially because we know that there's more they get while they're on campus than it is uh, as they're doing the WhatsApp planning.